What's up guys? Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So today, quick tip. Um, so we've talked a little bit about the bridge edge loops function is how we can use it to create surfaces. In today's video, I want to talk about another thing that it can do, which is help you cut openings in objects. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we've talked in the past, and I will link to this video about using the bridge edge loops function. So we go to edges and do a bridge edge loops in order to loft shapes, right? So giving us the ability to add different cuts in here, change the interpolation, and basically use this in order to bridge loops in order to create shapes and loft shapes. However, there's another function of the bridge edge loops tool, which I think you should know about. So if we were to create a cube like this one, right? And I've inset this face, and I've inset this face, well, the bridge edge loops function can actually be used to cut a hole in this object. So the way that that works is first off, make sure that you're in edit mode. So I'm just gonna tab in edit mode right here. I'm gonna select these two faces and I'm gonna select the option for edge, bridge edge loops. So notice when I do that, what that's going to do is that's going to basically bridge between them with geometry. So what it does is it cuts an opening in your object. And so then let's say that I was to come in here for this object and just create some edge loops like this. So just something simple. But then if I was to select these two faces, like this, I could go into edge, bridge edge loops, and I could use this to cut an opening in this object really quickly. So this is a really fast way to cut holes in objects inside of Blender. And so not only does this work on simple shapes like this, it'll also work on shapes like this sphere. So let's say I was to go to front on view right here, we'll go to wireframe mode to make sure we're picking everything up, and we'll tab in edit mode, but let's say I was to select um, some of these surfaces right here. So if I was to just select these on both sides, and then we'll go back into material preview mode. Well, if I do a bridge edge loops between those objects, you can use this to cut a hole in this object as well. All right, so one other thing is with the proper settings, you can actually use this to cut multiple openings at once. So right now, if I was to come in here and select these surfaces, and I was to go into edge, bridge edge loops, and then go into wireframe mode. Notice this is creating some extra geometry in between these. It's doing some stuff we don't necessarily want it to do. Um, but however, if we were to, so if we were to undo this, and then this time if we were to run bridge edge loops, but we were to select the option for connect loops, loop pairs, notice what that's gonna do is that's going to pair each one of these individual cuts um, with the appropriate object over here. Now I have seen this not work as well with things like the sphere example, um, but for things like rectangular shapes like this, this is a really fast way to create multiple openings in this object um, without having to do any kind of like booleans or anything like that. So if we look at this, notice how this cut the openings as well. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know if you're using this to cut holes in your objects or if you have another method that you're using to cut those openings. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.